Kurt from South Africa. Rookie story. We've all got them. I went into the bartending industry, was, um, I was working as a waiter and my friend told me, hey, bartending is cool and so forth. And there was a waiter in a restaurant that I was working with. He convinced these people that he used to be a manager of clubs, of, of restaurants and cocktail bars overseas. And I called on to this and I said to him, hey, listen here, I want to be a bartender in your bar. And so he said, okay, fine. We went across, it was just across the road from the other restaurant. It's called uh, Biloxi Cocktail Bar. It's actually a Cajun American themed restaurant. And uh, the head bartender never rocked up, so he made me head bartender. And the first night we had the mayor of, of Cape Town, we had the mayor of, of the area which is in his time there, and these and boys came along and they asked me for all classic cocktails, Singapore Sneeze, Mai Tais, Manhattan's, Martinis. And I was standing there and I had one little cocktail. I had not a cocktail book, I actually just had the menu and I was running up and down. And you have and no it was idea. A terrible night. It was like, you know, and I just actually tried to serve wine most of the time and I had two guys and they were saying, yo, he's the head bartender, he's the head bartender. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I don't know. So the, so the next day, and that was like, yeah, that was like, that was like, what, six, seven years ago. The next day I went out and I bought a cocktail book, a classic cocktail book, and I still wrote in it to Kurt, kick ass from Kurt. And I signed it and I saw that book today, and that was one of my first books, and now that's why I collect them. So it's quite weird how, how you actually force yourself into it. You know? <laughs> and then once you pick up the bottles, I mean, then it's, that's you. Huh? As I say, once you get that flare fever, then you're in. <laughs>